Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa with the small but mighty R3 wheel. We're gonna go full stand here on the main rank in a set of Corsa on the PC. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try the description box below. Let's get to it. So we are not using any of the other parameters yet. We do just have the wheel set up, but we are using my pedal, my Fanatec pedals with a clutch so that we can actually use a clutch because, you know, I haven't hooked any of the other parameters or anything up yet. That will be for another episode. But today we're just going to go full send and see how this thing reacts. I'm try and go right into uh, Pando. Luckily, this horse is very uh, is clutch kick friendly. Oh my, I, apparently I got wheel dampening on. This is on the basic uh, Moses settings. It's not rotating as fast as I'd like it. That's because it's probably set up with uh, basic dampening on it, which we would have to correct. We want to get a much smoother rotation, but overall, not too. Uh, that's what I really wish I would have had a handbrake. Overall, kind of impressed with with how it's reacting. Like I said, we're uh, yep, we gotta adjust that real quick. Uh, pits button, we do. So let's go adjust our Moses setting real quick. Now we should get a little bit better rotation. Oh yeah, there we go. Much faster rotation. Turning wheel friction off. Now we have much uh, more linear feel in the wheel. We get lost in the smoke. But the R3, you know, for only being. Oh, the low force feedback it is, it feels quite nice. Now you can probably jack the feedback up a little bit in the a set of courses settings if you really wanted to. But for first impressions when it comes to the feel of the wheel in a set, I was not knowing what to expect when it comes to feedback because it felt good in on the Xbox on uh, Forza because it's what I was used to when I used to drive Forza based off my G920s. But this coming from basing my feel on my R12s and stuff like that. Oh my! This is some serious clutch kick practice. I didn't hit him. I did not hit him. Oh, he's losing it. But overall, Oh, very thoroughly impressed with, uh, I want to keep grabbing this, but we don't have that set up. We're going to get those parameters and everything set up for the next video. See, right there would have been great if we had it. I'm going to try to get in front of him, let him do some chasey chase. Oh, that's a major understeer. This would be great for uh, me being in the lead right now without uh, worrying about handbrake, just using the way of the car and some brake. Oh, 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 brakes. Stabbing those clutch kicks. Transition the car. So overall first impressions of the R3 on a set of Corsa. It definitely gets down. <laughs> Like I said, we are on my Fanatec pedals because it's what was on my main rig right now. So we do have full clutch and everything like that. But this thing is actually uh, pretty solid and definitely more impressive than I thought it was going to be here in a set of Corsa. On the PC, that is. Oh, that's a little over-rotation, but the wheel snaps back and transitions quite nice. Now, you... You do, oh, 
You do feel a little bit of lack of uh, feedback in, say, the wheel when you're mid-slide when it comes to, say, the higher wheel feedbacks, like the 12 and the 21, and we're, we're playing ping pong. There's a lot of feedback there. The small but mighty R3 is actually uh, just that. Pretty mighty for the force feedback, but the direct drive makes it nice and smooth. And we're getting down, like I said, we're basically just using uh, clutch kicks, left foot brakes, and full sends. This guy's diving our door now. Oh, oh, clutch kicks that out. Man, we ran that really wide. Oh, we got this. Luckily, this course, like I said, is pretty much only a second gear course. We don't have to worry about, you know, not having our shifter parameter. So overall, definitely uh, going to do some more stuff with this. Like I said, we're going to get the parameters and everything set up in the next video. This was just a, the shakedown of the wheel itself and uh, to feel what the feedback would feel like compared to my other wheels. And the small rim, not really hindering this wheel at all. It's a small size wheel. It's kind of quite nice. I did like when the R5 had that when I ran that for the longest time. This base is just so tiny, it makes my my chassis look like there's nothing on it compared to that mass, you know, my massive R21 or even the R12. Okay, we got a little loop. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. Here on a set of course of the first impressions with the R3 on the PC. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All which found in the description box below. As always, I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>